When is it become an issue? Right. Well, a tantrum is an issue when they throw a tantrum for anything and everything. Okay. If you really can't even, you know, discipline your child, give them rules, set boundaries because they throw a tantrum for everything, that is definitely a problem. Mm -hmm. If the tantrums get aggressive okay. and they're harming themselves or you or their sibling, commonly their sibling, breaking toys, destroying things, that is definitely a concern. Okay. Now we have a list of five red flags you should look out for when dealing with a child who has tantrums. The first is aggression. So what kind of aggressive behavior should parents look out for? Because even when a tantrum, there is some aggression, but when is it a concern? Right. You know, sometimes they might throw a hit here and there, mm -hmm. which already is a problem. But, you know, if it's something where they are, you can see they're deliberately trying to hurt you, or like I said, they'll go after a sibling or after your pet, or just try to hurt someone to get your attention, that is a problem. Okay. Kicking, pulling, biting, mm -hmm. that is a, a bad sign. Okay. Self-injury you had discussed. I mean, sometimes they do try to hurt themselves to get your attention, mm -hmm. but when is it an, uh-oh, that's not good? When they succeed. Okay. They don't truly want to hurt themselves. These are all cries for help and for mm -hmm. attention. If they really are truly hurting themselves, that is a concern. Okay. Frequent tantrums. So describe the frequency because I'm sure that many parents are probably watching and thinking, okay, well, what, how, what's frequent? Right. I would think that with, with every root, routine, like any part of your routine during the day, if every step there's a tantrum or several steps and it's hard for you to get out the door or to go to school, things that they typically do and that they shouldn't be so upset about, mm -hmm. I think that's a little too frequent. Okay, and long tantrums. What's considered a <laughs> typical <laughs> tantrum? Right, a typical, I mean, basically you should be able to distract right out of a tantrum. Okay. If you can't distract and it really goes on, then, then that's a problem. Okay, and inability to calm oneself because we have to learn how to self-soothe, exactly. this is true. Right, Okay. Right. If they can't self-soothe, if they can't get distracted, if they just get so worked up and you can see that there's not, they're kind of just like not with you anymore. Okay. They're in their own world, then that's definitely a concern.